very happy to see you. Friends, today we are going to learn a new song. The title of the song is Praise the Lord. It sounds interesting, right? Today we are going to learn lyrics, song, and motion together. At the end of the class, we are going to learn the meaning of the song. Now we are going to learn the song together. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Friends, now we are going to learn the motions step by step. For the first step, you're going to put your left hand while you clench your fist in front of your mouth and then your right hand, you're going to put it in front and then push it up. Then you're going to show your palms of your both hands and then shake it sideways. Then you're going to gather your hands on your chest and tap your chest. After that, you're going to point person in front of you and draw a heart using your finger. So for the first step, it will be Praise the Lord, joy will come in my heart, in your heart. Now you're going to go to the second step. For the second step, you're going to use your finger and show number one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to clap four times from the left side up, then the right side, then the left and right going down. Then you're going to put your hands in front of your mouth again and push your right hand. Then you're going to put both of your hands to the person next to you, starting from the right and then the left. So for the second step, it will be one, two, three, four, five, clapping. Praise the Lord all together. Now you're going to go to the third step. For the third step, you're going to use your index finger and point it on your head from the right to the left. Then you're going to make a big circle showing your palms using your both hands. While doing that, you're going to show your palms in front of you. Then from the right, you push it to the right and then you bring your left hand and push it to the left. Then again, you're going to gather your hands and open it Bring a small circle. So for this third step, it will be All settings will disappear at once. Now we are going to go to the last step. For the last step, all the motions will be the same with the second step. So you are going to push your right hand then you're going to shake your hands. After that, after that, you're going to tap your chest and then point in front of you and draw a heart. So for the last step, it will be Praise the Lord, joy will come in my heart, in your heart. Friends, 
hands, you're going to repeat all these motions twice. For the first step, you're going to put your left hand while you clench your fist in front of your mouth, and then your right hand, you're going to put it in front and then push it up. Then you're going to show your palms of your both hands and then shake it sideways. Then you're going to gather your hands on your chest and tap your chest. After that, you're going to point person in front of you and draw a heart using your finger. So for the first step, it will be Praise the Lord, joy will come in my heart, in your heart. Now you're going to go to the second step. For the second step, you're going to use your finger and show number one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to clap four times from the left side up, then the right side, then the left and right going down. Then you're going to put your hands in front of your mouth again and push your right hand. Then you're going to put both of your hands to the person next to you starting from the right and then the left. So for the second step it will be one, two, three, four, five, clapping. Praise the Lord all together. Now you're going to go to the third step. For the third step, you're going to use your index finger and point it on your head from the right to the left. Then you're going to make a big circle showing your palms using your both hands. While doing that, you're going to show your palms in front of you. Then from the right, you push it to the right, and then you bring your left hand and push it to the left. Then again, you're going to gather your hands and open it, drawing a small circle. So for this third step, it will be All set things will disappear at once. Now we're going to go to the last step. For the last step, all the motions will be the same with the second step. So you're going to push your right hand. Then you're going to shake your hands. After that, after that, you're going to tap your chest and then point in front of you and draw a heart. So for the last step, it will be Praise the Lord! Joy will come in my heart, in your heart. Friends, did you enjoy learning the motion? Now, you're going to learn the meaning of the song. If we praise the Lord, our, our heart will be full of joy and all sad things will disappear from our heart. So, will our friend sing and praise the Lord? I hope all of our friends sing for the Lord together when it's time for singing. Friends, did you enjoy learning the meaning of the song? Now it's time to end our class. But before we end, if you like this program and you want to be part of us, you can SMS us to the number on your screen. You can call us or send a picture of what you've learned in this class. We also have Facebook and YouTube page. You can go and search Studios TV Africa for many other episodes. You'll also find there the next episode. Then, until next time, bye!
settings will disappear And once praise the Lord Joy will come in my heart In your heart Praise the Lord Joy will come in my heart In your heart One, two, three, four, five Hello children, nice to meet with all of you. I'm Teacher Salome and I'm happy to be together with you once more. And welcome to our Bible story. Children, do you have your Bibles? Okay, let's open Genesis chapter 40 verse 1 to 15. I will read. It came to pass after these things that the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief butler and the chief baker. So he put them in a custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in the prison, the place where Joseph was confined. And the captain of the guard changed Joseph in custody for a while. Then the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were confined in the prison, had a dream, both of them each man's dream in one night, and each man's dream with its own interpretation. And Joseph came into them in the morning and looked at them and saw that they were sad. So he asked Pharaoh's officers, who were with him in the custody of his Lord's house, saying, Why do you look so sad today? And they said to him, We each have had a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. So Joseph said to them, Do not interpretation. Joseph said to them, uh, Belongs to God. Tell them to me, please. Then, then the chief butler told his dreams to Joseph and said to him, Behold, in my dream, a vine was before me, and in the vine were three branches. It was as though budded its blossoms shot forth, and its clusters brought forth ripe grapes. Then Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and placed the cup in Pharaoh's Children, today we are going to share from the book of, we, have, we are sharing from the book of Genesis, chapter 40, verse 1 to 11. And it's a story about the chief baker and the chief butler. So, a uh, long, long time ago, there lived a king, King Pharaoh, and this king, he lived in Egypt. Children, do you know King Pharaoh? Yes. He was a mighty king in Egypt, and he had many workers. He had many workers. Children, do you know some of his workers? Do you know them? Yes. Some were the soldiers, some of the chief baker and the chief butler. And also he had so many more. So one day, one of his two workers, they offended their king, and their king was very angry. They made a mistake, and the king was very angry. Children, have you offended anyone? Yes, maybe your parents, your teachers, your friends, and even your uh, uh, relatives. But how was their reaction towards you, children? How was their reaction? Were they happy? Were they laughing at you? Or were they laughing at you that time? No. 
they were angry towards you. Also me, I have three children. I have three kids actually. And also sometimes they make me very angry. Many times, sometimes when I give them work, they don't do exactly as I told them to do. So I become so angry towards them. But I do forgive them. Do you know why children? Yes, because they are my children. Also you, I know whenever you make mistakes to your parents, to your teachers, to your friends, many times they do forgive you because uh, they are your parents, your teachers. So, but remember I told you that this was a very mighty king. So he had powers, powers to do anything he wanted. He had the powers to chase you from the palace. He can uh, put you to prison and even he can do anything he wants to do to you. So that time uh, the king, even though the king was angry, but he didn't chase them away from the palace. But instead he decided to take them to prison. So that time uh, they met one person, children. Do you know that person they met? Yes, they met Joseph. They met who children? They met Joseph. So that time, uh, that night, the two of them, they had a dream. The two of them, they had a dream and they didn't know what to do because they never knew that the, the, the dream, the way it meant. But thankfully, they was a person who could interpret for them. And that was, that was Joseph. So that time, uh, when they could give out their dream to Joseph, Joseph could interpret for them. So the chief butler, he dreamt that he saw the vine before him. And also he had a cup that he was to take to a uh, pharaoh. So when he uh, gave his dream to Joseph, uh, Joseph could interpret for them. So children, do you know what the what what pharaoh means means in our spiritual life? Yes, pharaoh means God, and the workers means you and I. The worker means us, you and me. And the cup that the chief butler was holding means our heart. Children, can you show me your heart? Everyone show me your heart. Where's your heart? Yes, even my heart is here. And in our heart, there is sins. And sins in our hearts can only be washed by the blood of Jesus can only be washed by the blood of Jesus. So in the book of John, it says, I am the, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. So uh, the vine that uh, the chief butler dreamt of is in the book of John chapter 15, we can see that the vine is the the, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. So if the sin in our heart can only be washed by the blood of Jesus. In John chapter 1 verse 20, 27, 29, it says, The next day John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So, children, we were, all, we were washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Because here in John chapter 1, verse 29, it says, The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So through one man, through one man who was Adam, we were, all, we were all made sinners. And also through one man who is Jesus Christ, we were all made righteous. My sins were transferred to 
Jesus through the book of John chapter 1 verse 29. So that time we, were, we all became righteous. We all became righteous. Children, are you holy? Yes, we are righteous because all our sins were transferred to Jesus. The book of John chapter 1 tells us that through that all our sins were, Jesus took all our sins. All our sins were transferred to Jesus. And through that you are all made righteous. Children, let's open Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10. Let's open Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10. It's t it says, it says, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10, it says, By that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. It's not because we were good. It's not because we are perfect. It's not because we did something good. But it's because of the, it's because of grace from Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10, by that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Also, let's look Hebrews chapter 10 verse 17. Then he adds, their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Children, will, will Jesus remember your sins? No, he will not remember our sins no more because he already took away our sins and we are holy we are perfect like jesus also we are going to open from the book of galatians chapter 2 verse 20 i have been crucified with the christ it is no longer i who live but christ lives in me and the life which i now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians chapter, chapter 2 verse 20, it said, I have been crucified by Jesus. The life that I'm living is not my life, but it's the life of Jesus Christ. Because I am holy like Jesus. I am perfect. I am righteous. Children, are you holy like Jesus? Can you show me your hands? Can you show me your hands up? Yes, we are holy by Jesus because he already took away our sins. He already made us righteous. It's not because we did something good. It's not because we worked for it, but it's because of the love of Jesus Christ. That's why we were all made righteous. Children, let's go back to John chapter 1 verse 29. Let's go back to John chapter 1 verse 29. John chapter 1 verse 29 here. Actually in John chapter 1 verse 29, here it explains us precisely how we were all made, how we were all made perfect, how we were all made righteous. John chapter 1 verse 29, it's Explain to us clearly. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him. Children, have you seen it? Yes. The next, the next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. In, in John chapter 1 verse 29, it shows us clearly how my sins were taken away, how I was made by perfect, how I was made righteous. So through this, actually, we are really happy because we are holy like Jesus, we are perfect like Jesus. So uh, through this, we are, we call ourselves that we are holy. Children, are you happy because you are holy? Yes, even me, I'm happy because I am. My sins were already taken away by the, by Jesus Christ. My sins were, I am clean. So uh, I'm so happy to be together with you once, uh, once more. I hope to meet together with you next time. Thank you. Bye, children. Bye.